don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. You think I join you? I'm not sure you've been paying attention. Zero day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Honesty, integrity, things you have no idea about. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. Who is that? 
That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Weird, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any ideas? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Security of London. Hostile target deployed. Oh, I'm catching up. Oh, now. Nah. 
down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Any ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're basically unplugging it and putting it back in. All right then. Close enough. <laughs> I'm ending this now. something about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hint. Just look at this! A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to Juan Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Fuck off, you stupid drone. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. If you shoot this drone down, I'll ask it politely to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? 
come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side-ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Shit! Ah! Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the Central Court to complete the cycle. Well done, Bugley. Now let's find Malik before he can do any more damage. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Get it done. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right. Wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look. Seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure. sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberyst with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Deadsec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. I say we send that car driving into oncoming traffic or a fire or something. I mean, why not? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! <sighs> Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Now that we have him, we should talk to him, find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just 
Don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTOS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Sure me. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Listen, Malik, we know you are responsible for the embassy and the bombings before that, too. That is not in question. Confess, and we can be done with this. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. You knew about Zero Day before contacting us. How do you explain that? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Even if what you say is true, it doesn't absolve you of anything. You're not a good man, Malik. You deserve to rat in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, DedSec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next.
is happening to me right now? I can't believe it. will not end for Something matter, officer. been monitoring the drone network. Mary Kelly has finally sent out the invitations to her slave market sale. Dedzek, it's Caitlin Lau. This is your specialty. Hack one of those drones and get the location where she's selling those poor microchipped people. Let's put an end to this. That was simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Baths. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in her organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful at the bath team. Mary can kill all her captives with the push of a button. If we try to free them now, their good is dead. She doesn't know we're on to her yet. That gives us the advantage. What no? Don't just blunder in. Hack the building's CTOS hub and see what to expect once you're inside. Good idea. I'm in. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We need to build this case. And find a way to free those people. I'll try my best. Aye, no one's here yet. Good thing, too. The champagne's late. And you know how these rich bastards like free plonk. We end up the team with it. Yeah, products primed and ready for sale. No worries. <laughs> nah, she ain't. Not for this lot, at least, which is fine with me. She's the boss and all, but, uh, exactly. <laughs> Always on eggshells when she's around. Oh, bound to be bloody, too. <laughs> Later. 
this is not what I expected. Yes, it's a sort of low thing. I'm enjoying myself. I'll need a shower. Have you had anybody in the country? They're offering a surprisingly wide selection. My employer have access to a pre-auction list. Our selections have already been made. I'm only here as a physical proxy to take delivery. Come on, look at the camera. Straight. Right, that's good. Stand up now. And slowly turn around. I, I, I don't want to do this. Please. Get your fucking ass up. Fucking miserable. There's no way this bastard will sell. The buyers expect high quality stuff. All right, then. Get him downstairs. We'll update the catalogue and put his stats online. No, no, I'm sorry. I'll do what you say. <gasps> Don't take me there, no! Shut the fuck up! Shit. What the fuck? Let's make some inquiries. Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access codes laying around somewhere. Thanks for the seller key, knobhead. Fantastic. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is really Ross class sickening. Everyone here is acting so casual, enjoying themselves while they're buying slaves. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the microchips, Mary Kelly is liable to purge her inventory. Almighty God, Lord. The Gordon Goose is a dog web retailer of people. Argons. God knows what else. We need to stop this whole Ross mess now. I suggest washing your hands after this. Well, here's something interesting. Miss Kelly, why is our explosive shipment delayed? You've received the crypto. Every penny, love. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well funded. And my organization could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. <laughs> but we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign. Autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment. And London will be yours to rule. Oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. Ah, this is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Add that to the slaves and the organ market. She is done. That's... An interesting turn of events. So, Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? This is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bags, we need to get to the website service. We can pull the intel Caitlin's after and fry everything else. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuffle protocol and some kind of mix net. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. What about the rich fucker upstairs greeting everybody? He might know about the servers. I'm going to keep looking. They must be here somewhere. I'm fucking up out of here.
sake. Oh, what now? Something's blocking my access here. I'll have to call it in. Good instincts. I've got coordinates for the Golden Goose servers, and as a bonus, the microchip control relay. Both are at NeoGate. Nice one, Bugs. Dead sec. We need that server data. Once we have it, I'll take it to the Attorney General's office. Mary Kelly is going down for all of this. We can't just leave the servers our microchip control relay. Really. We have to free these people. Next stop, NeoGate. It seems Mary hit the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. Here. Neogate hasn't been around for long, but they're leading the antivirus market. I bet the Kellys have something to do with this growing success. Regardless, we're about to destroy all of it. Listen, I want that as bad as you do. But let's gather all the evidence we can before blowing it up. This is what we've been chasing after this whole time. I suggest hacking the camera network to see what's what. Everything's calm. 
Looks like this door can only be unlocked from the inside. How annoying. You'll have to find another way in. It's open. Congratulations on your great victory. I've had enough of Mary Kelly's shite. Let's destroy it all. The microchips are no longer functioning. I think Kenny's golden goose is cooked. Bagley, your humor is going downhill. Just leave the area before the same thing happens to you, all right? going on a rampage of cleaning house. She still has control over the microchips in her vicinity. We need to disable them from her security system if we don't want all the help to die. All right. No, no, you sure? 